This idea has been floating around in my head since forever, and now I'm finally putting it down on paper. Imagine if some Nightwings did not leave the Night Kingdom after Dark Soccer turned a bit evil, instead feeling as though they weren't really in danger, or even embracing their possible radical new leader. Of course, after it became clear that Dark Soccer was not alive anymore, it would mean that these dragons would be left alone where they are able to do their own thing. And from there, things could get a bit crazy. Today, we are going over what might happen with the Meteor Wings. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I regularly post both Wings of Fire and Warcats content, so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me, I wouldn't have gone here without y'all. First of all, appearances. Black and gray scales are obviously some of the most seen colors in Meteor Wings. However, golden and tan scales frequently pop up, even if a dragon is not fully gold or tan. This is because they have close relations with the Sandwings, whom they share a border with, and Sandwings have those scale colors. Meteor Wings are a bit smaller than regular Nightwings. Regular Nightwings evolved to have larger wings so they could fly from the island to the mainland faster. The Meteor Wings did not have to face such a challenge and the trait was not selected for in them. Meteor Wings lack some of the hard snout plates that the Nightwings have. This is because Nightwings have developed that in order to cope with the smoke from the island, and the Meteor Wings do not have such conditions once again. Meteor Wings have darker eyes and more bent horns than Nightwings. I'm sorry if they don't sound all that exciting and just sound like Nightwings, but just like with two things altered. I'm writing this script before drawing the tribe, so they might look a bit spicier than what I'm describing. After that, we have whatever unique abilities your tribe possesses. They have future vision and mind reading like the original Nightwings. Their teardrop scales are yellow or gold though, and often dragons with those abilities will have yellow or gold eyes as well. They are also nocturnal. Nightwings are fully nocturnal when left to their own devices, and I headcanon that Sandwings prefer to be away during either dawn or dusk due to the scorching heat. Because of that, they'd be nocturnal. Or what? Diurnal? Like, whatever the middle thing is, I don't have it listed off the top of my head. Meteor Wings do not have poison saliva like most Nightwings do, because, as explained in the series, this is passed from parent to child through prey and was adapted after the Nightwings went to the island. In some families where there are high concentrations of sandwing blood, a dragon could develop poison spines. Obviously, in hybrids, a full tail barb would develop and have poison, but they also could have poison spines as well. Next, history. The tribe was first formed when Darkstalker killed Arctic. A group of dragons spread a warning that Darkstalker could kill the queen and the entire kingdom next, and most of the tribe fled, having heard what happened with Albatross years prior and knowing that was a likely possibility. However, some dragons stayed. Those who stayed had two ideologies. Either they thought that Darkstalker would be a good change, or they simply didn't care and thought it would either blow over or Darkstalker would be caught. However, some dragons were simply too poor, old, or injured to move and stayed where they were. Over the years, some dragons from the main tribe joined them, but most dragons from the main tribe stayed on the island, or rather the island chain because why don't I just throw in a random headcanon into here with no elaboration? The remaining Nightwings struck up a trade with Sandwings and even took them as husbands or wives. Interbreeding occurred and the Meteor Wings slowly began to look different than regular Nightwings. When Dark Soccer returned thousands of years later, the entire subtribe of Meteor Wings were shocked. They either went into hiding in the canyons in the kingdom, and once he was gone, they told and once he was gone, they told the rest of the Nightwings to either embrace their rules or get out. How does the tribe operate? The dragons left behind recognized that the royalty system was partially at fault for what happened, so in order to prevent that, they ended up making a democratic process where the leaders would be elected through a series of trials similar to how Glory was elected. The Meteor Wings lived in small villages, and each one elects representative as well as voting for their queen. These are often older dragonesses who have lived in communities their entire lives. They change their queen once every decade, however, if the queen is found incompetent, an election can be called. Delegates from villages are elected as needed, and very few villages have mandatory elections. Now, how do they treat the other dragon tribes? They have a positive relationship with Sandwings. Both tribes have celebrations centered around moons and similar sleeping schedules, bringing them even closer together. The entire tribe has Sandwings somewhere in their ancestry. During the war, they took in a large number of Sandwing refugees. They are pretty neutral in the other tribes. They aren't as discriminatory towards Rainwings as the other tribes are. Due to Icewings not being spotted past the landmark of Darkstalker's teeth, they can get a bit freaked out by seeing Icewings nowadays. 
Now that Darkstalker's teeth no longer works, they are seeing Ice Wings more often, and most of the tribe doesn't know how to feel about that, though most of the tribe does not blame them for Darkstalker. As said, they do not have an ancestral hatred of Nightwings as they regard Darkstalker as not that much of a big deal. They still have knowledge of who he is and what he did though. After the Darkstalker incidents, things obviously change. Wait, I almost forgot about how they feel about modern Nightwings. They actually view modern Nightwings as cowards because they were scared away by Darkstalker, who was just another ruler or possibly a better one, as some said before he broke free and proved that he would not have been a better ruler. So that's it. Here's what I think a tribe descended from leftover Nightwings and some Sandwings would look like. If you have any other tribes you would like to see me make variants of, comment them down below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and Warcats videos pretty often and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who've already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I wouldn't have gotten here without y'all. Thanks, peace, Rogan out.